Well, here you go. It's the 5th of April and uh, my first session for, uh, for Tench of the Year. Uh, a little bit early to say the least, but uh, I always like to get the bait going in early so that uh, the fish clear the, uh, the area and the spot I'm fishing. So that's, that's what I plan to do. It's an extremely windy day, as you can probably, uh, probably hear um, on the microphone. But um, it's a warm wind. It's coming from the, uh, from the west. Temperatures, well, I suppose about uh, 12 degrees C. And... Um, yeah, it's pretty windy, which is uh, not too bad, really. It certainly normally steers the, uh, the fish up in here. So what I'm using as bait is I'm using maggots as bait. Uh, I'm using uh, plastic maggots because there's a horde of rud in here, so I want to avoid those. And I'm using just an inline drenum feeder, something quite simple to uh, start the season. I do like casters and I do like uh, using them in a PVA bag, but that can wait until later. Um, I've just got a feeling that they might want to uh, start uh, feeding on the maggots first, and then maybe later on as the season progresses, I'll uh, change over to casters. And of course, Course, not forgetting worm as well because the kebab uh, worm kebab rig works extremely well anyhow let's see how I get on Here we are, this is a uh, fish that uh, first tench of the season on the 5th of April. No blanking for me, so I'm pretty pleased with that. But, um, anyway, let's slip her back and see if I can catch another. Here you are, this is my second session after Tench. Uh, I'm back on the, uh, the same lake, uh, lake again. Um, I did reasonably well last time for the first trip. <laughs> I didn't blank, so that was, uh, that was wonderful. So I had a small fish of uh, five pound, uh, six ounces. Um, I caught a maggot, and I'm gonna try maggot and caster today and just see, uh, see how I get on. Uh, the forecast was for, <laughs> what it said, just uh, light winds and, uh, and the sun coming out later but it's been really really breezy to say the very least it's uh, it's blowing a gale uh, i'm not fishing far out i'm probably fishing about 50 yards but to try to hit the spot every time is uh, with the crosswind is proven to be quite difficult but uh, we'll see how we get on um let's say you've got to be in it to win it so uh, let's see how i get on with this uh, second session anyway Oh, this fella's really a pain. <laughs> he keeps diving on my baits.
Well, here we go. This is the uh, second trip of the uh, of the season, and uh, this is a really feisty looking, uh, feisty and a bit battered looking uh, male fish by the looks of things. So, uh, comes in at uh, six pounds uh, thirteen ounces. So, pretty pleased with it. Um, pretty strong wind blowing. Caught it on uh, rubber maggots as as you normally do. So, absolutely fantastic. So, uh, let's hope I can catch a few more. But as I say. Uh, 613 male fish is quite a big fish. Anyway, let's slip her back. Well, here we are. This is a uh Number two for the day. This is a, a female uh, tench this time, which is uh, pretty good. So this one's uh, five pounds uh, fourteen ounces. Um, really nice condition, and uh, caught on the uh, plastic maggots again. So as I say, it certainly works particularly well. Um, really pleased with it. So uh, let's slip her back and see if I can get the third for the day. Gang of tufties are still around. They really are a pain. Well, it's uh, quarter past six in the morning. I've been up for about an hour now, looking at the water to see if I could see any uh, tench rolling. It's just too much of a, a ripple on there at the minute. But it's a beautiful morning for sure. Hopefully the wind's not going to be quite so strong today. It was really blowy yesterday, but uh, so I had two fish, so I'm not, uh, I'm not complaining. Any tench uh, this early in the season is a bit of a bonus, I think. But yeah, it's a beautiful day again. At about 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, first one I've had. Um, yeah, it looks really, really good. I'm, uh, I'm pleased with it. Maybe I might catch a few more uh, today, but uh, as I say, off the mark today, so can't really complain. Anyway, let's slip it back. Look at the depth of it, absolutely fantastic, really. Anyway, let's slip it back. and I've had a bite in a new spot as well so pretty pleased with uh, that I've got about four hours in this spot doesn't feel a particularly uh, big fish but um, <laughs> I'll take anything when it's first class first cast like that oh it's pulling back a bit for sure Oh, it's a little squirt of a tench, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Feels a bit better fish, this, actually. Yeah, he's not tearing off. Add a bit of weight to it. Yeah. It's out in open water, it's not too bad. That's good. Ooh, yeah, that feels a bit better. Trouble is, the, the big males go a bit, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt like I had a bit of weight to it. Yeah, I think. Uh, let's see this rod. So we're going to pick up the line. Yeah, it's a good old scrap, this. Yeah, that's a, yeah. That looks like a reasonable fish. Yeah, that looks a reasonable one. A proper one. Yeah, I think so. Well, 
Well, this is a, another classic big uh, big fish. It's uh, seven pounds uh, one ounce, so it's not a bad fish. It's not a huge fish, but it's got a really, really big frame to it, uh, which is typical of this lake, really. Uh, but as I say, it's an absolute fantastic fish. It'll be ooh, knocking on towards uh, eight and a bit pounds, I guess, when uh, when it's got a bit of spawn in it. But what a lovely, lovely fish! Absolutely fantastic. Anyway. This is number four for the day, so I better uh, I better slip her back, I guess. I mean that one buzzed away quite quite quickly. Not quite sure if it's a carp or not. Let's lower this other rod so that uh, the lines don't uh, cross. This feels like another powerful fish, I got a feeling. Could be a carp, the way that it's going. <laughs> I still haven't drank my cup of tea from the... Uh, from landing the other one. So perhaps that's the secret. Keep the tea on the boil. This one's putting up a fair old fight, this. Gosh, that's going a bit. <laughs> Looks like it's a male fish. Ah, uh, yes. Well, you really couldn't couldn't believe this. This is. Uh, I, I put the rod down just to uh, just to sink the line so I could land that other fish, and uh, I had the other one just unhooked it, just bringing it back down to put it in the net which is just there and then uh, this one was screaming off of course I couldn't hear it because the uh, it was not on the bite indicators oh my goodness I'm only using a pound and three quarter rods because I'm not casting too far out so they got a bit of forgiveness in them Right, I'm going to have to use the carp net now. Well, that's it. Both nets in use. Can't get much better than that. How about that for a buttery looking tench? That's absolutely fantastic. This is uh, five pounds, six ounces. But look at the color, it's just like butter. Absolutely fantastic. Anyway, this is not the, uh, the male I played earlier. This is the one you just saw me uh, video and I've still got the male in the other net. So uh, let's take a look at that and pop this one back. Well, in contrast to that uh, buttery looking fish I've just had, that uh, female, this is a male and this one's uh, 515, uh, ounces so five pounds 15 ounces you can see that uh, it's a lovely looking fish let's say 515 which is quite a good size uh, male really anyway let's pop this one back and get both rods out again that's uh, a double hook up there
this feels a good fish. Certainly going a bit. What I don't want it to be is a big brown monster. I don't want any of those carp. I think it could be a carp with it going like this. Or a very good tench. <laughs> Who knows? Is a tench, I think it might be a good one. Don't want this fella to come off for sure. I love it when you can see the humps on them. Oh yes. Oh, oh my goodness. That's ginormous. That's got to be close to nine, I should think. Easily nine. Fantastic. What a fish. Early April as well. Anyway. Let's get her out and hook her. Here we are. This is uh, a fantastic uh, looking tench. It's nine pounds, six ounces. Caught in April uh, on plastic maggots. Absolutely fantastic. What a fish, eh? What a fish. Anyway, let's, uh, let's slip her back. She's going to be well over 11 later on the year. What a hump. Two foot tench. Two foot tench. <laughs> Come back when you're a double. Even the sun's come out, look. Oh wow, what a fish, Bob. <laughs> what a fish. 